Hey, bud. Um, Grayson starts that game off seven of seven from the three point line. Um, I've seen Brooke hit a lot of threes. I've seen a lot of people hit a lot of threes in a game, but it didn't really felt like any of. I didn't think even were forced. Um, what does it kind of say about Grayson or maybe this team that he can have a first half like that and, and it doesn't feel that way? Yeah, you know, I mean, we've talked about our, our shooting and the, the depth of our shooting. And, you know, when you have multiple guys that can get hot and, you know, throw Bobby into that mix, um, you know, it's just it's a, it's an invaluable thing. And you don't know which night it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. And um, as you mentioned, I, you know, very few um, forced and the ball moved. I thought the ball movement was great, the execution. Um, we got into a really good rhythm offensively, and um, he benefited from that, and he delivered. Uh, that being said, I believe there's an ATO or two in there to get Grayson a look. Uh, as a coach, do you feel any sort of kind of responsibility, like, hey, our guy's going, let's try to see if we can keep that rolling? Yeah, a little bit, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, the guy's executed, and, um, you know, sometimes you, you just try and keep feeding them, and I think the guy's found them, and, um, you know, so we tried to find him some too. Um, I know a, a couple other players got a turn on Luca, but Drew, for the most part, looked like was had that call. Um, only the fifth time Luca hasn't hit thirty. Um, I don't know if you consider the, what what you consider a great stat line or not, but I mean, what what can you speak to Drew's defensive effort there just to make Luca work and and you know have to expend that effort? Yeah, no, I mean, you know. Obviously, uh, Doncic is one of the elite players in our league, and um, you know it takes it takes a lot, um, you know, to defend him and, and the way they use him and um, their creativity, their spacing. Um, you know, for us to have you know an elite uh, defender like Drew to you know take that challenge, and, and he did. He had him a ton. West took him, um, you know, for a couple of stretches. Um, you know, I think the six turnovers, you know, 50% from the field and, um, uh, you know, to nine free throws, you know, maybe we could keep them to a few less. Uh, but, you know, overall, I think that's a pretty strong defensive effort by us, you know, but, um, you know, that's, it's, it's, uh, it's rare you can do that to, uh, to Doncic. I know Drew is a two-way player and you count on him for offense. But even on a night like tonight, when he does have that draw for most of his minutes to then also still play make to score, um, can you, I mean, how important is that and maybe how underrated is that to, to be able to do both for that yeah. long? No, I mean, uh, especially with his size and with his physicality, um, you know, to be a two-way player, to be a two-way point guard, um, you know, that's just – that's why, you know, we love having him. I think, you know, the whole league just has a ton of respect for him. You hear, you know, opponent players, opponent coaches talk about him. There's just – there's a level of respect for him. And and I think it is the two-way element, um, you know, that, that makes him special. And, uh, you know, so, um, you know, just another night where, you know, we're, we're fortunate to to have him, uh, you know, lead our defense, be at the, be at the top of our defense. They got it. You never trailed, but they got it down to one, I think, midway through the third, and you scored 10 straight, got it up to 19 before long. Just how were you able to con respond and kind of break it back open there when it looked like they were coming back? Yeah. Um, you know, it's certainly uh, they made a great, you know, kind of run at us. Um, and, and for us to respond, I don't know exactly, you know, to, to tell you how or what happened, but I just do like that, you know, we were able to kind of, kind of take that punch, gather ourselves, and then then take it back out to, you know, if it was 19, take it to 19. That, you know, when they get on a roll, sometimes it can be um, it can be hard to, to kind of stem that or stop that. And so for our guys to find a way to do it, um, you know, we'll look at the film. But um, you know, certainly it's one of the things we, we talked about in the locker room to, you know, kind of take a punch, steady ourselves, and then finish it. Um, you know, tonight was one of those nights we needed to do that. Coach, you've talked about consistency with, with Brooke Lopez this season, but what do you think of the way Bobby off the bench is, is averaging a double-double this season, and how do you think he showed consistency in that aspect? Yeah, you know, I mean, he great he brings this, you know, great focus, you know, an edge, you know, his energy. Um, you know, he's going to get boards. I think, you know, the fact that he's, you know, averaging 10 rebounds is, 
you know, that's impressive. Um, you know, he could, he has a knack for putting the ball in the basket. So, um, you know, we kind of, you know, expect that, you know, he scores a lot, but, uh, you know, to, to get 10 boards a night, um, it's not easy in this league. So it takes, you know, great effort and, and, and consistency, you know, night after night after night. And going back to Grayson, I know you talked about him offensively, but did you see anything in particular defensively? He had two steals, and I just saw a lot of activity, especially in that first half. Yeah, no, I think, you know, he 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 was in the right place a lot of times. You know, I thought he had some deflections, some, um, you know, hands on balls around the basket. Uh, you know, he was just in a good place on both ends of the court. Uh, I don't have the numbers totally for me, but I'm going to guess your defensive rating probably ends up being around 120 tonight, one of the worst games defensively for the season. But sometimes the Mavs just kind of do that to you. The offense hasn't been totally right the whole season. What's kind of your thought process from what you saw from the offense tonight to to close it out? I know you want to do it defensively, but to be able to do it offensively. Yeah, you know, I think... You know, versatility is a word that, you know, can be used in a lot of different moments, a lot of different situations. And, you know, I think some nights you need to be able to win different ways. And, um, you know, our defense, it wasn't for lack of effort. But, you know, as you you alluded to, um, you know, offensively, they can really spread you out. They can really um, be a very, very efficient team. And uh, and you got to be able to score and and counter that. And, um, you know, it's it's not you know, probably our nature, my nature. Um, but I, I think to be a balanced team and be good on both ends of the court is, you know, really the ultimate goal is, you know, can you do it on both ends and do whatever it takes to win night in and night out? I thought the ball movement, you know, I don't, would we finish with 28 assists? I thought the ball moved, um, you know, really in the first half, it felt like we were in a really good rhythm and, um, guys were just, you know, the ball was popping around the court. I think it starts with Giannis, Giannis getting us into good actions, Giannis getting into, you know, um, pick and rolls and handoffs and different things like that. Um, you know, so I think, you know, this, to me, the ball movement kind of stood out, um, you know, the way it popped and kind of moved quickly, um, stood out to me. All right. Thanks.